What's up, everybody? It's Don, and tonight, tonight, man, we are going to be taking a look at some really cool stuff that VR Cover just sent me. That's right. You know, those guys have always taken such good care of me, and VR Cover team, I love you, man. Thank you so much for these awesome gifts. So we're going to be taking a look at the last couple of care packages they sent. I didn't get a chance to make a video for the original care package they sent for me for the quest so this kind of gives me a chance to make up for that and I apologize I was in the middle of a move when all that stuff came in so tonight we're gonna be taking a look at all of the different accessories that they have sent me over the last couple of months uh, so first and foremost let's start off with the uh, facial interface so basically they have redesigned the plastic facial interface here we've got really nice velcro on there it, it, it sticks like anything so that is awesome to be able to hot swap those facial interfaces for times that you might be sharing it in a a, a really physically intense uh, situation now obviously for that physical intense we know you don't want to use the default foam on the quest I mean especially if you're sharing it with people so they sent me along a couple of different fa uh, face pads and these are the leather face pads so we've got the the very thin one and I think this is new uh, this one just came last week uh, so obviously the very thin one is going to give me a better field of view and it is wipeable so if I am tearing it up in some Beat Saber or you know doing some you know Creed or something that's really gonna make me sweat in the quest this thing is gonna be able to just be wiped clean passed to the next person and they're not gonna get some gross quest um, obviously this one it, you know it is going to give me a little bit of better, better comfort because it is a thicker face pad uh, but uh, you know either way you go uh, I personally I'm not a big fan of that leathery feel against my face I have been actually using uh, one of my original oculus rift uh, VR covers the the nice very very nice velour VR cover and you can see it fits perfectly on there uh, so I don't know if they've still got those on the site but that is also another option now if you're like me and you don't like the feel of that leathery uh, stuff against your face especially as I start to sweat and if it is personal and I'm not you know changing the headset from person to person they also sent along these very very nice pillow soft uh, covers so so you can cover that and and make it feel very close to that velour now the the other thing and the last thing that they sent along and, and I am extremely interested to try is this contraption so never thought about padding the back of the headset and and you know I popped it on there I, I couldn't wait I was curious I just ripped it open popped it on there because it's so easy to take on and uh, put on and take off and it made such a difference in the comfort of the quest I, you know I never thought padding the back but who'd have thought it but you know with the combination of that the leather cover in the front and the leather cover in the back it didn't have as much slippage so it, it really made it comfortable and it made it feel more solid because we all know the quest is very very front heavy so all right i'm going to get this thing outfitted onto my quest we're going to get it all decked out jump into a little bit of gameplay maybe and uh talk about the comfort and whatever and then we'll call it a day so all right let's go so here we are we've got it all installed on the quest all of the vr cover stuff is on there and you know I've got to say, it actually does make a difference. I, I, I'm not shitting you guys. It makes it feel more comfortable to use the Quest. So up until now, I have actually not been using my Quest a lot because of how front heavy it is. Well, this back padding back here has changed that for me because it actually gives it a better grip on the, the occipital back there. Uh, it, it doesn't put as much weight on my face. It kind of pulls that to the 
back and I think the weight of the padding actually adds a little back weight to the HMD as well to help balance it out a little bit better you know and then then there's the the padding I mean you know with the new uh, changeable facial interface here I've got the thin pad installed I've got the pillowcase soft VR cover cloth against my cheeks and it just feels good and and I'm telling you I'm real sensitive to FOV stuff now because I've been using the Pimax and because the thin cover is allowing my eyes to get closer to the lenses it is slightly increasing the FOV I may be wrong you guys let me know in the comments but you know over the years all the way from my oculus dk2 to now i've always found that if i could just modify that face interface and get my eyes closer to those lenses that fov would expand so all right let's jump in and let's do a little gameplay i, I was gonna do in space i was i was super happy to see in space jump into the oculus quest arena here but i want to give them their own video so you know one that i have loved forever uh and i just want to do some light gameplay because this is not a gameplay video this is a vr uh, cover video uh, we'll just jump into some pinball fx2 vr absolutely adore this game okay here we are in pinball fx2 vr and you know like i said i have been playing this game for a long time guys and i you know it's actually you saw it at the top of my list there and that's for a reason you know even to this day this is still one of my go-to games when i just want to relax when i just want to just chill out and and not do anything too intensely you know crazy in vr sometimes i play this a little bit before bed so anyway, all right, um, I think we're gonna play Secrets of the Deep. So let's do it. <laughs> oh. So, you know, I gotta tell you, um, I've played this in a lot of my headsets and, and in the quest here, this looks really, really good. Um, I, I, oh man, I love this freedom of no wires. Now, I had played this obviously wireless with uh, the uh, the Oculus Rift and the TP Cast, but uh, I like this even better. So, all right, now I can tell you, I, I'm getting a little frame stuttering just a hair, but I play this all the time in my quest and it never does that so I am gonna chalk that up to the fact that I am recording on the quest simultaneously um, while I am playing on the quest so I'm trying to get an audio transmitter so I can start doing the uh, wireless ADB capture um, and stop recording from the actual quest because holy hell, even to this day, it still sucks ass to record from this headset or the Oculus Go or the Gear VR. So, you know, you figure John Carmack would have finally given us decent content creation options um, after all these years. And, I mean... Come on, guys. We really want to promote your product. And, you know, you guys know I used to do almost freaking every other day your VR videos. But that's back when it was a little easier to record. So, to make it easy for me, I will put out more content. But I ain't got time for all that mixing sources and audio and... You know, I just want it to be easy. Schmack, schmack. So now the frame rate stabilizing a little bit it is a little easier. You know, this is one that, that you really have to have a solid frame rate in for that ball to be believably rolling on the table. Man, I love all the little assets in here. That is so cool to just really get down in the table and, and look at everything really close. Oh, da da da! Nah, ah! No, no, you don't. 
Oh no! Boo! <laughs> the shark ate my ball. My little subs are flying around all over the place. Okay, last ball. Make it count. Let's do it. Dive! Dive! Smack! Uh uh! Uh uh! Stay lit! Yaha! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cool. Bubbles. Oh, no. Oh, oh, cool. I was saved. Oh, sweet. Now I got like multi ball going on here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, man. That's not where you're supposed to go. Uh-uh! No, no, no! Oh man. Okay. Well, I hadn't played in a while. I can definitely usually do better. But, uh, you know what? I think we are going to cap it here. I know this video has probably gotten a little bit longer than, than you guys wanted, and definitely more than I wanted. Um, but, man, VR cover. Thanks again, guys. Love the setup. Definitely going to put it to good use. Uh, if you guys own a Quest, if you own any VR headset, I am going to throw a link to their website down in the description. Head to that website, grab yourself some covers, grab one of these back pads. Man, they got all sorts of cool stuff over there. Love the t-shirt as well. So, uh, and of course, if, if you just want one of the coolest time waster games out there in VR, definitely grab a copy of Secret, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say Secrets of the Deep, uh, of Pinball FX2 VR. Highly recommend it. Zen Studios, those guys have been pumping this out for years and they deserve your support. But for me, that's it. I'm out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is uh, Don signing off. Peace.